Okay, so uh, in this video we're going to be doing a full charge test of the Jackring 1000. So right now we've run this thing completely down to zero with, with uh, an electric heater. So no juice left in this thing and we're going to be testing a wall uh, AC input here. Um, Jackery says this should take about seven hours, so we'll check in on this here and there. So I'll start the timer and uh, we'll see kind of what a real world charge looks like. Put the input in, start the timer. Okay, display came on, I didn't actually hit that there. Show an input at 117 watts, 160 watts, 161 or 59 and we're showing on our kilowatt actually at 178 watts so I'm not sure why the difference between what this shows and this maybe that's the efficiency of of the input uh, I'll have to look into that but we're showing 178 on a kilowatt and about 160 161 on the input here uh, so far the fans are totally silent which is kind of different uh, from the Echoflow Delta here. Um, yeah, those fans kick on right away. So we'll see, we'll check in and see when the fans do start to kick on. Um, but yeah, so we're a minute in and uh, we'll come back and check on this. We'll leave the timer on and uh, check back, uh, you know, 20, 50, 80% charge ranges. Okay, uh, so we hit the 20% mark here. Um, you can see we're a little bit over an hour um, to get to to get to 20% and we're still uh, taking in still 178 on the kilowatt and about you know showing about 160 input here so yeah a little over an hour to get to 20% so we'll check back um, when we get closer to 50. All right checking in on our charging uh, we've hit 50% now and as you can see we're getting close to the three hour mark so we hit 50% uh, a little over two hours and 50 minutes. Um, we're still pulling in around 160 watts. That really hasn't changed. So uh, probably similar to the Echo Flow, you know, we'll start to see a slowdown as we get up into the 70s, 80s, 90% charge. Really starts to get more challenging to cram uh, more energy into these things as all the space gets kind of filled up. Um, showing 176 on the watt meter coming in. Yeah, 160, 161. So. Yeah, almost three hours. Uh, we're at about 50%, so we'll check back here uh, when we hit around the 80% mark, see where we're at, and maybe we can kind of calculate if we're gonna hit that, you know, that seven hour range. I mean, right now, you know, we're definitely ahead of schedule, but if you know, or maybe you don't know, the charging will start to slow down as the space fills up in here. Uh, it just gets tight, and trying to find new space to store yourself becomes difficult for electricity. So it, it will start to slow down. So we're definitely ahead of pace right now, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if we were pretty end up pretty close to that seven hour mark. So we'll check back here in a little bit. All right, uh, checking in our charging of the Jack Air 1000. We've hit 80%, and you can see we're just, uh, we're at a little over 445, 446 minutes. So um, doing good, uh, you know, it says the rated time to charge seven hours to get 100%. We're already 80% at uh, 446, so you know this next 20% probably will start to slow down. We're still 160 watts, 161, which is pretty much where we've been at the whole time. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if we slow down or if we do kind of beat the the rated uh, pace by a bit. But uh, yeah, we'll see. So we're at 80% now, and we'll check back in when we're done. Okay, so we are really slowing down here on our charge. We're up to 99% and we're only taking in 27, 28 watts now. We're at uh, six hours and 22 minutes. So I think we're definitely gonna beat the seven hour mark, but um, you know, still a decent amount of time to charge up this versus something like the EcoFlow Delta where we charged, you know, a larger capacity battery in just over an hour and a half. Um, just two different technologies on, on how they both charge. Um, the EcoFlow Delta is really the only one I've seen that can take in like a thousand watts at once. Most of them are more in the 150, 160 watt range like the Jackie 1000. 
Um, one nice thing, fans never turned on the entire time, so um, never heard the fans kick on, so if you do need something that's more quiet, more silent, you know, if you're charging in an office or something, or in an environment where you need a quieter setting, fans never turned on, you know, charging this, this thing from AC at all, so. Um, I think we're gonna hit 100% uh, any moment here, so I'll, I'm just gonna leave the camera running here, and then we'll get an exact uh, timer on uh, when we finish up the charge here. See if that can stay. And yeah, could be any moment now that we hit uh, we hit the 100% mark, and definitely gonna beat the advertised seven hour mark. So. Um, so yeah, so that's a positive on the Jack 1000. I still love the, you know, the ergonomics of this thing are just, are just fantastic. Definitely one of my favorite uh, solar generators. And uh, yeah, it looks like we'll check back in here in a few minutes and hopefully we'll hit that 100%. Maybe we'll be under six and a half.